If you've used our Cloud Academy website before, you've noticed, no doubt, that we have a couple of different kinds of labs available for you. We have hands-on labs, lab challenges, and lab playgrounds. We have a lot of content for the various cloud providers, but maybe you have a need to create a lab that is a hands-on lab or a lab playground that is more customized for your usage. Well, if you are one of our enterprise customers, you can do that using LabMaker. To get to LabMaker, we come to our uh, panel here that brings up our corporation. If we have access to Content Engine, we can find in the Hands-on Labs section, if I click on that, we now have LabMaker, the product. Let's make a lab together. So over here, I can click on Create. There are three different options, the three different main cloud providers out there. For this example, I'm going to choose Amazon Web Services, but the, the flow is the same for either of the other lab, uh, cloud providers. Within creating a new lab, I have a couple of options. I can either create a new lab completely from scratch, so a blank canvas to work from, or I can clone an existing lab to work from. So let's talk about an example here. Let's say that there is an existing Cloud Academy lab that you want to customize for your organization. Like for instance, we have a customer who's shared with us that they have a uh, restriction on being able to use SSH, but they really like one of the labs that we have available, but it requires to, you to use SSH. So they want to use LabMaker to go in and customize the instructions to not say SSH and to give it some more details about how to do it a different way. So they would choose clone existing. In this particular example, I'm gonna choose from scratch and show you how we might create one that is a blank canvas for us to enter information into. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we can either create a hands-on lab with very detailed instructions, or we can create a lab playground that can have our users or our learners go in and try out different services without a whole lot of structure. So if I choose from scratch, I can give it a title here. I, let's say new lab number one. Now, usually you would give this a very descriptive title, perhaps including some of the services that you would want to use in here. Next up is a short description. Same kind of suggestion here. We would create, put something in here that is a descriptive phrase so that we could understand what the goals for this lab are, but in a very short way. This is going to show up kind of in the little card in our uh, library. Okay, so short description. For now, I'm just going to put that into there. Then in the longer description, this is more information about the services that we want the users to learn about, perhaps list also in here some prerequisites, uh, so some services or concepts that they might need to do before doing this lab, or it could have, say, company logo in there, or who do I contact if I have questions. All that information can go in here, because as you can see, we have lots of different options for how to format this information. We can put tables, we can put images, whatever we want to in here. Because this is a demo, I'm just going to put long description in here. Uh, but again, this would be the perfect spot for you to put a full description about the goals of this lab, the learning objectives, uh, and other information that's pertinent to this lab. Next up is down here, we have the different steps. So if you've done one of our labs, it walks you through a series of steps in the hands-on lab that tells you exactly what to do in order to accomplish a goal. So for AWS, maybe we're going to spin up an EC2 instance. We would have all the information about how to do that, including some screenshots in there. So that's gonna go down here in our steps. Now we always have the vendor login step. That's the instructions for how to log in using the credentials that we provide. But we're in, now we're gonna create a new step that is whatever is important within our particular lab. So again, let's say create an EC2 instance. And here I would put all the information and steps and detailed instructions about how the user would create that EC2 instance. So detailed instructions here, okay? 
if we're creating a hands-on lab, we would create quite a few of these different steps uh, depending on how our lab is configured, right? What do we want the user to do? What are the steps we want them to accomplish to learn this particular concept? If we're doing more of a lab playground, that step that I just created might instead say, this is a playground, it's open for you to use, here are the services that you might want to try out, okay? I'm gonna leave this with a single step because this is a demo, but you can create as many steps as you need. Once I'm done creating those steps, I can hit next. And now I give it some more information about this particular lab. I can select the difficulty. I can select where this is going to live in the uh, Cloud Academy library. So I'm for this particular one, I'm going to go to the Amazon Web Services courses. That's where this lab will live, but you might have a different spot to put that information. Then how long should the learner be able to spend within this lab? That's the content time limit here. It defaults to two hours, but maybe you need a little more time or a little less time on the lab. That is up to you. You do have to choose something and it does have to be less than eight hours. Once I have configured this page, the final page is the provisioning template. Now, the steps that we talked about earlier are textual information. They are a guide for the learner to know what to do on each of the different pieces that we're asking them to do. Here, the provisioning template is a piece of infrastructure as code in the case of AWS, this is gonna be CloudFormation templates. And these templates are going to build the initial infrastructure that we need for our learners within this lab. So I'm gonna select an existing one here. You could certainly create your own from scratch. But this particular example is a template for using EC2 spot instances. And this code down here is going to create that initial set of infrastructure for this lab. Now I can go in here and edit this, I can change it, I can make it match what I have for my lab steps. But again, initial conditions for the lab. That is our provisioning template here. And I'm gonna hit save. Now, this lab is ready for me to deploy for my users and my learners to work with. All I have to do is click on the lab here, and under actions, I can click publish. Now, if I do later, I come in and I say, you know what, I need to make some edits to this. That is absolutely available here. I click on the name, I can click edit, and it will give me the same screen that I saw earlier. So a very flexible and powerful way for you to create labs for your own team to use, customize existing labs, or create some lab playgrounds that maybe don't currently exist within Cloud Academy. One other use case that we've heard from customers is perhaps there is a, a playground that you need for say sales engineers to hop into and demonstrate your product in a sandbox scenario. So you can, de you can create something like that here. That provisioning template that I showed you can contain all of the information that's needed to create that sandbox and to deploy a known good situation for your sales engineers to work from. I'm gonna search for the lab that I just created. So come up here into the search bar and say new lab. And here we go. This is the new lab that I created. I'm able to start it and I'm able to work with it. When you're working with LabMaker, you might have a question about which services are enabled for each of the different cloud providers. For that, I'll refer you to our Hands-On Labs Terms of Service document. I've already scrolled to Annex A, which is the list of services enabled for Amazon Web Services. Each of the different cloud providers has the services listed within this document. These are the services that you can use within LabMaker to customize your experience and to help your learners learn more about each of these different services. If you have any questions, 
on any of the things that you've been shown here, please reach out to your sales or customer success manager, or send us an email at support at cloudacademy.com. Thank you.